I will become the Okazo of Yoji Kingdom. The biggest fish. Nothing can change that. Not even my father. Not even the Igwe. So trust me, I will not only upgrade, but I will take charge. I'm the biggest fish. The Pablo of all Pablos. Oh no, don't kill my vibe. Don't. And I promised I won't kill your vibes. Cool. <laughs> you are there. Now we there. Now we there. Now we there. Now we there. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying with me now. No, no, I don't. I don't huh? to take this one. Oh, okay. Mom, Dad, I am here to inform you that I have decided to marry Sarah. I love her so much and she's pregnant for me. Wow, really? That means I will soon become a grandmother. Yes, Mom. Oh. Son, when I said that you will not marry that daughter of a thief, I mean it. So stop tempting me. Well, Dad, as a matter of fact, you've been the one tempting me all along. It's just because I love my own so much and I choose to protect my own. So that, do not tempt me. Son, what are you talking about? Whatever nonsense he's spewing out of his mouth, I don't care. I have made my intention known. He will never marry that girl. And if you think I cannot hurt you because you're my son, you're very correct. But you see that girl, she's not my daughter. I will definitely hurt her. Well, Dad, you don't want me to spew what I know. Because if I do, you'll be languishing the rest of your life in jail. Jesus. So don't tempt me, Dad. Mom, I'm out of here. Honey, what is he talking about? You're asking me. Ask your son. Daddy, what do you mean you don't understand? I have proven my loyalty and competence to you over the years for you to entrust the company to me. Yet you keep pushing it afar. What is it you don't understand? You want me to make you the regional marketing representative for South East and South South. A position Mr. Agabi has held over the years and is still doing well in it. Daddy, Mr. Agabi might be doing well in his position, but you and mommy better this idea. The company is yours and Mr. Agabi can always take another position. I can't do what you're asking me to do. <laughs> oh, Daddy. You can't do it because I'm a woman. Because I am not your special child, AGK. Because even he has openly rebelled against you time without number. But if you still come back here, you will embrace him and make him the envy of the company. That is, if you will not even step down for him. Daddy, why do you hate me? Why do you treat me like I don't matter? Why you treat AGK with so much respect and, and care? Enough of this nonsense and we'll discuss this matter with you again. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Daddy? Is that what you're telling me? We have no other thing to discuss. Just get out. But this discussion is closed. And my decision is final. <laughs> okay. I know the position I hold in this, this house. Hey. Baby, you're so funny. Mm, no. Look, uh, you know we've been dating for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, how about we take our relationship to the next level? Well, you know, my only problem is, would your father accept me for who I am? Probably we could just, you know, elope to another city and get <laughs> married there. Moses, elope. Oh, no. no. See, babe, look, I love you very much. And my life was empty before you came along. And I can't imagine a life without you in it. Look, just elope with me to another city. We can get married and make a beautiful life out of it. Think about it, babe. You know I feel the same way about you, right? Yeah, I do. I feel we should just come and see my father. Discuss with him. And whatever he says, we can take it up from there. 
Yeah. All right. If you say so. <laughs> okay. Right now. You know I'm a foodie. I do know. I'm hungry. Oh, say no more. Take me to that favorite spot. I have one said. of the best favorite <laughs> spots in town. Come I know. Come here. <laughs> Moses has been threatening you on what to say or do that will hurt you. Yes, so what does that mean? What does he know about you? Or is there something you are not telling me? Why didn't you ask him? Because I know nothing about it. But let me warn you. If that boy should go ahead to disobey me and marry that girl, I will disown him and cut off all his wings because I made him. The car, the clothes, and everything he has belongs to me. Chief, you do no such thing. You can't. So you wanted to discuss with me? Daddy, yeah, you, yeah, you wanted to... Oh, okay. Uh, this is Moses, and he is... I know who he is. And whose son he is. Young man, how well do you love my daughter? Uh, well, sir, I, I love your daughter very much, and I desperately want to make her my wife. Well, if both of you have agreed, I will not stand in opposition. Thank you, sir. Your father may think that I'm in conflict with him. But I tell you, I have enough information on your father to put him away for life. But for the sake of his children, I won't do that. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sir, thank you very much. I must confess you're way better than my father. Daddy, I don't understand. Don't tell me you're planning to allow your daughter get married into a family of a man that made you his number one enemy. Uh, look, sir, I promise if you allow me to marry your daughter, no harm will come to her. It's a promise, sir. I don't need you to promise me that. Because if any hair falls off my daughter's head, I will annihilate your entire family. Your father knows who I am. Your father is a dangerous man, but he knows me. So, I give you my blessing. Mm -hmm. You will impact my daughter positively. I don't want to judge you by who your father is, because he's a bad man. So I give you your own clean slate and see how you can impact on my daughter. All right, sir. All right, serve him a drink.
know who the boy is exactly, but I chose to ignore it. Because your happiness beyond everything is what matters to me. Daddy, are you saying that you know he is the son of your enemy and you kept quiet? Enemy. Therefore, he's not my enemy. But we don't agree on one or two things that don't make him my enemy. But if the boy is threatening you, leave him alone. I'm um, no, no, sorry, Daddy, but I, I can't leave him. I think about Moses every day. I can't even imagine myself think about someone else. No, Daddy. What then do you want me to do? Mom, Dad, I met Sarah's dad today and he gave me his blessings to go ahead and marry his daughter. And we have fixed a date for our wedding. It's obvious you want to see what I can do, right? No, Dad. You are the one who is trying to see what I can do. Dad, I am tired of this, your egoistic way of trying to bully me. Dad, I am not just going to marry her, but you will give us your blessings. And I promised her father that no harm will come to her. And if anyone, I mean anyone stands on my way, and that includes you, I am going to crush that person. What is playing this drum of audacity to him? You better allow him to do what he wants to do. Because he is your dated version of anger and revenge. And whatever that is giving him confidence must contain enough asana to sink you. So shut allow up. him. Shut up and stop ranting. What do you know? I see our community as a very progressive one. Where we discuss important issues about development. God up on even I and I be here corn now basele. That's what uh, led to what happened last week. Let it not happen again. Let us progress, move forward as progressives. Chief, you don't need to try remedy the insults you melted your us that day. Because we have all agreed to crown the son, Ejike, as the Okazu of Iyoji. Eh? Omori Yozo. Really? Really? Of course. Igwe, are you private to this? <laughs> well, I laugh because we have started discussing things that are not relevant. Things that are not progressive. Things that will not yield results. You see, for me, I'm not a man moved by titles. I can lead from whatever position I sit in this cabinet without a title. I can lead from my house. No kind of title is just a distraction. If that is what you have decided, so be it. But I, I am not going to speak my mind in this meeting. My interest, Igwe, is for this community to move forward. And in that direction, we have the largest expanse of land amongst other communities here. Yeah, what are we doing with it? In that line, I spoke with some friends of mine who have been doing business with over the years. They are from China. And they are tissue manufacturers. Igwe, who doesn't use it? Toilet tissue in Nigeria. So from here, they will sell their industry here yeah, at no cost to us. And then from here, tissues will be exported or distributed to other Kanu, Aba, Kaduna, uh, Lagos, and so on. And our sons and daughters will be employed. If I tell you, nothing less than 1,000 sons and daughters of this community will be employed. And that will be employment. Oh, Rihanna, because young men have things to do. And then our women will receive healthcare interventions. When you deem it free of charge, or more one. What are you doing malaria or typhoid? We'll be able to take care of that. And then quality education. These are the things that I 
thought about. I don't know the title. If that was how I walked out of the meeting. Because I told him I'm not here now, but I said it. I rest my case. Pablo, I think one of the major reasons you're listening to your father is because he has built an empire. And such an empire is what is using against you. So I suggest you set up yours. It's part of the growth. My father's empire is not what he's using against me. My father is using his influence, old connections. He knows men in power. He is using them to frustrate me. So money is not even the problem here. Then, why not invest into hotel business, fuel station? I mean, something that will employ staffs and also generate money for. It's part of the growth also. I need something big. Something that has a link with the government. Then you can also go into construction company. Yes, you have the money. Once you set up your company, you can go out for the contract of the third mainland bridge. Once you got the contract, not just the money, but the firm will also be there. Uh, federal government project will help. Federal government project will help. Yes, I'm going to that. I will go into that. something like that why did you close my account what honey did you close down his account yes yes he did can, can you imagine I, I went to shop for, for wedding gown for my fiance only to discover that my account was empty and when i called my account officer i said dad instructed, instructed, instructed him to, to, to empty my account why honey why will you do something like that to your son every penny in that account belongs to me i started crediting that account when he was a toddler all right? And now that he feels he's a man, that he will not listen to what I say, and he wants to go against me, let him go out there and make his own money. He will not use my money to marry that girl, that man's daughter. Never. Well, I will go out there and tell the police how you impregnated Juliet and killed her. What? What did you just say? Yes, you heard what I said. He is just paranoid. Everyone knows that Juliet stole my five million naira. Hey. Come off it. I have proof and I have records to what I'm saying. Have you not been enjoying it? The last one we did has resulted to something bad. How? As I speak to you, I'm pregnant for you, sir. I'm pregnant. How could you be so careless to allow yourself to get pregnant? Huh? Listen, I am going to give you money to abort it. I can't do anything abortion. And I hope you have not mentioned this to anyone. No, I haven't. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Then you have to abort the baby. If you insist, I'm going to inform your wife. You want to dare me? No, I don't want to dare you, sir. I don't okay. want to dare you. <laughs> Want to come and spoil my home? It will not happen. Yes. Tonight I am going to get rid of your body. 
and declare you missing with my five million naira and some of my wife's jewelry. Well, mom, I decided to keep mute all this while because he's my father. But not anymore. I promise you I'm going to reunion you. And I'm not going back on my words. Watch and see. You knew all this while. You don't know, you are evil. You are wicked. I hate you. I hate you. Wicked man. Honorable Commissioner, I don't get it. I don't understand. I did all you asked me to do. What then are you saying? All right, I will be in your office in the next 30 minutes. Why is everything working? Who's working like this? Evelyn! Evelyn! What is the meaning of all this? It's been five days. You are yet to cook in this house, and you have not fed me with any food. Does a murderer like you deserve food? Keep me quiet when you talk like this. You murder the only cook we have in this house and force me to leave my job just to become a full-time housewife. Listen, this was a mistake that I've lived with all my life. I am not proud of what happened. But if your son was wise enough, he would have just kept silent instead of trying to break us up with his selfish desire. Really? It is you that is selfish. Right from the first day I met you, you have always been a selfish person. And you want to use it to ruin my son's life? Oh, please stop. Ha. As a father, I am only doing what I can to protect my son's interest. Really? What is wrong with that? Please go and get me food. I'm starving. I should go and get you food. Evelyn. Evelyn! I said I need food. Daddy, you called me. Yes. After due consultations and confidence that you have uh, shown, I've decided to promote you as regional manager, South East and South South. Hey. Congratulations. Daddy, are you for real or you're just pulling my legs? The company is uh, very grateful for your services and um, you will be starting off in your new, new office on Monday. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. I mean, I'm lost for words. But Daddy, what about Mr. Agabi? You know he's the original manager for South South and South East region. Well, he's been transferred to South Africa to manage our office there. So, you start on Monday. Thank you so much, Daddy. I promise I won't disappoint you. Thank you, thank you. You're the best dad in the world! <laughs> what sort of stupid joke is this? I have spent over $1.2 million securing that contract. Now they are demanding for $1.5 million again. Who does that? Guy, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. See, what you stand to gain if you win these projects is far bigger than what you're investing at the moment. You don't understand. I don't have such cash. For me to raise $1.5 million now, I have to sell some of my properties. Well, to be honest with you, I still think it's more profitable than anything else. Yes. Guy, see, secure this deal and start a chance of making a name for yourself in the construction business of this nation. No problem. I will sell some of my properties and raise the money. But I just Please hope sir. I'm doing the right thing or if I will get lost. Sorry, sir. You think I'm in the mood of drinking? 
I'm off here. I will sell some of my properties and raise the $1.5 million. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Of course. Life is all about risk. Yes, in life you must take a risk before you make it. I just hope this risk is worth it. Don't forget, the big fish must swallow the small fishes in the ocean if only you want to be big. It's all about choice, yeah. Who cares one on the big things? When you can hear your baba doings. One in our car, you they feel me. Don't go show me the yeah. I be big fish. Who cares one on the big things? When you can hear your baba doings. One in our car, you they feel me. Don't go show me the yeah. I be big Mom, fish. Dad, you guys sent for me, man. Please, whatever you have to say, say it fast. I have an important meeting to catch up with. I believe I have a serious amendment to make with you, my family. I have wronged you, and I'm sorry about everything. Please forgive me. Moses, I am ready to sponsor your wedding to Sarah. Well, Dad, um, I won't be needing any financial assistance anymore. Sarah has already taken care of everything. And that being said, this is my resignation letter from the company. I'm quitting the job. Moses, you can't do that. You can't abandon this family just because of a woman. Well, mom, she's not just a woman. She's somebody's daughter. And despite the fact that her family is way richer than my family, they are set me with their own heart. Unlike my father who is trying to frustrate me for no just cause. Moses, I know you're angry. You have every reason to be angry. Uh, but I want you to know that I have already reactivated your account. Okay? We are family and I want us to stay that way. Please, my son. Please don't leave this house. Except you want me dead. Mom. Well, it's okay, mom. I won't be quitting the job. But you know, I cannot continue to stay under the same house with you guys after I'm married. Yeah, I accept that, okay? You are now a grown man, and you live to stand on your own. All right, mom. I beg to take my leave now. Hold on long now. It's all about choice, yeah. Who cares what you do big things? When you can your papa do this. One in a water, you they feel me. Don't go to me, yeah. I be big fish. Who cares what you do when you can't your papa do it One in a water you they feel me No caution with the air I be big fish Start talking. Who sent you? Please, please speak. Else please. Kill of course, you, you know he will not speak. But I know it's the same man who sent people to attack you. Dad, are you saying you were not the one who sent men to attack me? Come on, Ejike. You're my son. 
My only son. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. This guy is a fool. Can't be wise. You have lost. You're a loser. Joe. Sir. Take him to the police station. Please, 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 please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Ah! Come on, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Take him, take him. Stand up, stand up. Come on. Stand up. Hey, hey. Shh. Stand up. Please, stand up. Follow me. Oh, you love life. Oh, please. You are afraid of dying. Shh. Huh? Please, please. You are afraid of dying. Uh, take him. Uh. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Are you okay? Please just go inside. Okay. Yes. Evelyn. Evelyn, what is keeping you? Or do you want us to miss the church service? Moses, what are you doing here? And who are all with you? Officer, this is the criminal you came to arrest. Arrest him at once. Chief, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Sarah Donald and the murder of Miss Juliet Modo. You have every right to remain silent, for whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have every right to a lawyer, but if you cannot afford one, the government can help you with that. Now move. Moving. Chief, Chief, I'm done. No, Chief, where are you? Chief. That I'm not in the mood for all this. Why do you so bother me? What a bunny and me and no over that such a yanya and the bicycle would moon ya. When a child tries to run faster than his legs or his chi or his father, he will run into confusion. Um, the fact is that uh, I summoned you so that you don't make great mistakes. You are hunting for a very big contract at the Ministry of Works. And you have had to sell almost all your acquired assets. Houses, lands, even your hotel. And um, for that, I salute you as a son of a jindo. Having mastered the business tenacity. Dad, have you been spying on me? I don't want you to make a grave mistake, but as a father, I have to show some responsibility to know that I am there everywhere. Dad, if I may ask, who is your informant? Did you plant anybody in my camp? Well, these are the papers. For the assets you use to mortgage for the new contract you seek. The problem has always been that you have failed to understand who your father is and the kind of power he wields. One particular person has been telling you, Kenneth, that no one is over the local higher contracts. It is me. In fact, 
Look here, son. A photocopy of a $3.8 million bribe you gave for the $20 million contract you seek. It was photocopied and shown to me. Abu Mago, the lion. My eyes are everywhere. But a fact has been established that my son has proven to be a son and a jindo. So son, congratulations. That makes me and gives me the pleasure and privilege and happiness to hand over all the assets that you think you have lost, plus more. So I will retire now very well and sing Judge Jehovah Emmanuel holy that my son has grown into a man. You have proven to be a man. Sit down. So, as I retire, I'm going to hand over everything to you so that you will know that your father is very proud of you. Honorable my brother, my son has proven to be a man, so I'm going to hand over all the documents to him. Yes, every contract approved. And thank you for being an honest man because you would have cornered the contract in your own name. Thank you. He will come over and sign the documents. Thank you for being a good friend. All yours. This is unbelievable. Dad. You just humbled my vibes. A toad is a toad, and a frog is a frog. Though they might look alike, but they are not the same. And between a dog and a goat, we know the one who wiggles its tail. My father here, High Chief Donald Ejindu, is a well-respected man of Ihioji community. So it will be highly disrespectful to be dragging anything publicly with my father. So I hereby step aside. Let us all support him so that he can have that title, Okazu, because he is the biggest fish. And we that way. You are indeed a wise young man. And the gods will continue to prosper you for the wisdom you just displayed here today. Ono and the elders will now pick a date to do the need to. To crown your father, Donald Ejendo, the Okazo one of Iyoji. Okazo one. Iyoji Quim. Hey! Iyoji Quim. Hey! Which one? Hey! Okazo. In fact, I am short of words. I am happy at this ending part of this whole saga. <laughs> <laughs>
My son, AGK it is well with you. My son, AGK, where's the vibes now? <laughs> My, my vibes is now calm. <laughs> <laughs> Feel me. Yeah. 